Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are discussing about RESTful Lab App Programming Model. In this video, we are going to talk about validations. So the validation syntax is very simple. It starts with validation, validation name, on save, and trigger conditions. So basically, this has to be defined in business behavior definition, business object behavior definitions. All right. So it helps us to check our data is in the consistent state or not. How it will get triggered based on the two things. One is modify operations that is called create, update, delete. Second is modify fields. You can mention any kind of PO columns here. So framework will call the validations at the check before save method. It's a generic method at the save sequence phase. Okay, let's say if I, for a behavior definitions, I'm having a three validations. So I cannot decide which validation should execute first. So it will be randomly triggered based on the conditions and by the framework. The main most important thing is we cannot use EML modify statements in the validations i hope you have got a basic idea about validations so let's discuss what is validations with an example so i have a task application which uh, we have created in our previous video so these are the two uh, instances currently we are having what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new instance data right i name it three and uh, test so here in the task status you could see here there are only three fixed values right what if i give up more than three so it is accepted but it's not a consistent one because fixed values is from one two three for the start task status right so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a validations for this start task status okay if it is more than three or if it is not between one and three, then I'm going to raise an error message. All right. So, okay, let's start. Okay, so this is my behavior definition. So here you could see, uh, this is my task uh, uh, behavior definition and this is my task item behavior definitions. Okay. So we know that we have, we have to declare the validation in the behavior definition all right so what i'm going to do start with validation validation for task status then on save okay so i'm going to provide a modify operation here which is going to be my trigger conditions so while create i'm going to validate the things all right then which field we are going to check that is our task status here it is so let me activate this okay it got activated okay we got some error what it is saying validation val task status is not implemented which means framework is expecting some implementation for the validation because other than uh, framework doesn't know what to validate to right so where we are going to do implementation in our behavior definition class sorry in our behavior implementation class okay so this is our behavior implementation class so i have already opened this so you could see here in our local types, we have already a local handler for the task for our instance authorization, right? So now we are going to create a method for the validation. So we don't need to directly create in the behavior implementation. Simply we click here, then just double click here. So framework will create a method for you. So I activate this. Oh, 
okay so it got update uh, activated so this is our method alta status or validate on c inputting there is a one important keys is that for the task validation status fine so as the name suggests it will contain only the key fields okay so what are the other things we are having the parameters you can click on control space so it will tell you what are the other parameters of that so important keys we know that it's a table keys okay then changing right changing we are having failed and reported so this failed and reported we have seen in the eml correct so here also it's a implicit parameters for the validation okay so you could see here in the definition we don't have a changing parameter but implicitly we have a failed and reported all right so this will be applicable to all the validations or determinations or maybe actions as well so basically our uh, our aim is to check the task status is between 1 and 3 if it is not between 1 and 3 we are going to raise a error message all right so so simple uh, task we are going to do so if i want to know the task status i need to retrieve the task status value which was passed from the ui right we know that keys will be having only the key values right here in this case task ui so i need to somehow read the task status passed from one all right then price error message if it is not between one and three okay okay fine so we know that the importing will be having only keys correct so what we are going to do with the key values if we know the key value we can read what value which was given from the ui how do we know that we can use read eml so here we are going to read the parameters or values which is uh, passed from the ui using the read eml if you if you are not aware of what is read eml kindly click on the i button watch the read eml first and come back here all right so read entities of my behavior definition in entity task okay so what i'm going to read only task status this is what i want okay so next so i have a key values so i'm going to pass the key values here with value we know that what is the key so this is my key right so what is our input keys it's in keys so it's a table basically so we know that create is going to be only one instance always so i'm creating the first record of the key parameter that's it so once I got it, I put it in the result. So simple. Okay. So maybe we can now uh, quickly check whether it's got triggered or not. Okay. I make a breakpoint here. Okay. Just going to the UI. So this one I'm deleting it. So I'm going to create a new one. Let's say let's go here. Some random text. So let's say here six. Create it. Okay, debugger got hit here. So you can see here the read entity. So we click on that six. Okay. Now if you check the results. So 
so we have one entry okay if you see the task status is six so yeah so we got a task status finally so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check as my result is which are internet table So what I'm going to check if less underscore result task status is between one and three. If it is between one and three, then it's cool, right? So we have no need to do anything here. No logic. Okay. But if it is not between one and three, so we are going to rise your message. Okay. So basically, if we want to raise the error message, we have to populate two parameters that we have seen before what is that one is failed second is reporter so failed if we check the field we have two entities so what entities we are we have created validation was for task not task data so i'm going to i think simply just going to pass the key field because i would like to let framework knows which business object instance has the failed or error okay so we know that key we retrieve it from here okay that's it what is the other thing report reported will be having also two entities and other parameters so for us task is enough so value here same thing i'm going to mention my key field clearly okay then i'm going to tell the framework this is the error message okay so let's check the parameter percentage message here okay so if we check it here we have two functions okay one is new message another is a message new message with text so in our case new message with text if you have a message or uh, uh, class or uh, message ids if you have already created a then you can use this you can mention id number what is the severity what are the variables no issues in our case we haven't created anything so we go with new message with the text so there are two parameters here one is severity and second is text so i'm going to mention the severity if you notice here what is the default value for the severity? Yes, error. Anyway, I will mention here. This is error. Okay. What is my second parameter? Is text. So this is the text which is going to be show in the UI. So I put a message like uh, task status should be between one and three. Okay, that's it. What you do is you create this. 
so easy yeah let's go back and test again so this is what we have created here i'll delete it quickly let me create from the scratch i give some test id 3 some random name here i give 5 name so let's try to create it see you got error message here what it says task status would be between 1 and 3 you close okay let's try with 8 created the, the same message so i will check with the i will give something like 2 and created so it got updated and created successfully thank you for watching have a good day